Hey everybody, it's Jeffrey. I'm here with a brand new video for Dormco. College move-in day is quickly approaching and it's gonna be the worst day of your life. I'm just kidding. I have actually survived four separate college move-in days and three of those I was an RA and actually helped move in hundreds of other students. I basically have seen it all and have learned some of the best strategies to utilize on these college move-in days and some things that you should do your best to just try to avoid. First and foremost, the experience will be as stressful as you make it. That sounds so simple and it seems sort of redundant, but honestly, if you stress out, the whole day and process will be stressful, and if you just relax, the whole process and day will honestly not be that bad. One of the best things that I've discovered and that have helped me not freak out so much before college move-in days is just the knowledge that thousands of people all over the country and the entire world have done college move-in days before and have survived. True, there will be hundreds of people on campus all trying to move in at the same time with furniture, clothes, and bins but it honestly doesn't have to be that stressful. One thing that can be stressful about moving off to college is packing up everything from home that you wanna take. And if you're like me, I like to procrastinate. Each college has a different move-in day process, but here's what I can guarantee that you should expect. Depending on your college, there are usually dorms all over campus and you can expect tons of people lined up everywhere trying to move all their stuff in. That's why it's called move-in day. There will be tons of cars, vans, trucks, and even some gigantic U-Haul moving vehicles all backed up, tightly parked, all in front of the dorms. There will be gondola carts with little wheels on them as far as the eye can see that make it easy to transport things from your car to your dorm room. Pray that your dorm has an elevator or that you live on the first floor. Expect to take a lot of trips taking things out of your car, in and out of the gondola, into your dorm room, and then back outside for another load. If you have carpet or a large rug for your dorm room, you should definitely lay that out first before you start unpacking and getting things situated. If you unpack all your stuff, it can be super hard to roll out your carpet or put your rug down, and then sometimes you have to put in double the effort by taking everything out of your dorm room, put it into the hall, lay down the carpet, and then bring everything back in. Another thing to remember is to just be polite. You will probably see stressed out families and people freaking out trying to get an elevator and just trying to rush everything. And honestly, there's no rush. Obviously, don't go at a snail's pace, but if you try to do everything as fast as you can, it's just gonna stress out you and all the other people that are there helping you unpack. People might be cutting, saying rude things under their breath and a bunch of other stuff, but just don't be that type of person. Laugh at how ridiculous they are and continue moving into college. And that's the most important thing you have to realize. This is a big, exciting day in your life. You're moving off to a huge new place full of awesome new people, and they're going to be your friends for the next year and hopefully much longer. And on this big day, you might be meeting your roommate for the first time, and obviously, you know this, first impressions are a big deal. So be considerate of their space and hopefully they'll be considerate of yours. You're going to be experiencing college and having some of the best times of your life. And not to get too cheesy, but honestly, that's a big deal. Not everyone gets to experience what it's like to go off to college and this is something you should definitely not take for granted. Even if you are stuck behind some large sweaty dad in an elevator, embrace the experience, don't worry, and realize that everything will be okay. And when you're moving in, you want to have a great dorm that feels like home, that has a bunch of awesome stuff that makes your times in the dorm the best they can be. So you should definitely go over and check out dormco.com to find some awesome stuff for your dorm room. They have a ton of dorm room supplies for super cheap but awesome quality. Check out the links below and only $2.95 for shipping. If you have any questions about moving off to college or what to expect, please leave a comment below and we'll be sure to answer. Thank you for watching and I truly hope this video helped a little bit with what to expect when you make that big transition off to college.